Today I'm going to show you how I line up my scotch ruler tape on my sewing machine so that I know where a quarter of an inch is based upon the needle position and where I know um, so I know where a eighth of an inch is uh, in relation to the needle on the sewing machine. So let me tear this off and we will get started. So I've taken the tape off and you can see where the tape was. And so what I want to do is take a little cotton ball and some rubbing alcohol. The stuff I use here is the 91% uh, alcohol and or nail polish remover. You can do that too, but it might take off a little bit of the paint. And I just want to clean this up. It, it one cleans up the uh, marks and, and the dirt that's on the machine, which yes, you get dirt on your machine, but it also um, cleans off all the sticky and residue and any oils so that the tape adheres really well. So we've cleaned off the oil, the dirt, the residue that was left over from the tape before. And now what we want to do is put our new tape on. You want to cut the tape at the 12 and then using the one as your center, you want to line this up with the needle here. And you can use these increments along with the increments on the side of your machine. Most sewing machines have the ability to measure in um, uh, inches. So that's what you want to do. So now I'm going to lay this down. And again, we know that my original was back here a little bit. So I want to lay this down so it's in relation to this, all of these, and back. And determine that if I was correct, what I will do, I'll grab one of these. These are my um, these are my handy dandy edges that I use. I just take painter's tape. That's it. And I, I cut a, the narrow painter's tape and I cut it kind of thick and just rip it off the roll. So I know that right there is a quarter of an inch. I'll lay that down. And yes, it falls right there with the quarter of an inch. So that's good. Now remember, it, it's not, I, it will never be exactly perfect and that's fine. So what I like to do here is uh, roll my tape out to the next 12 and cut it with my scissors. Super simple, no big deal. Because the next one also has to be at 12 and that's going to be the next piece of tape that is perpendicular to this one. So now I've just laid this down. It goes from here all the way over there and it's the 12th. So this way you can use several different reference points to be sewing it. So you have your quarter of an inch, you have your half inch, you have your three quarters and your one inch. So now you're going to want to cut this again. We cut it at the 12. So it's cut at the 12 and it's going to be our mark that goes here to here. Again, the 12 is the zero. So you want to line up this edge with the needle right here out that way. And the best way to do that, I just use this edge to ride along. I look straight down as I do this and I see where the needle is. And that's it. It's that simple. So now I know as I'm sewing that this is zero. This is an eighth of an inch. Let me grab my little marking thing here to make things a little bit clearer for you. I know this is zero. I know that's an eighth and I know that's a quarter. So as I'm sewing something and I'm just humming along, do 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 do. Let me grab a piece of fabric here. We are sewing along. And we know we have to, say I'm sewing at this edge and I know I need to pivot here at a quarter of an inch. I am, or even if it's an eighth, because I know that this right here is the zero mark, I can stop when this edge gets here I know I can leave the needle down and pivot and I'll be at an eighth of an inch. Or I can leave the needle down here and be at a quarter of an inch. 
or go here and I'm at a half an inch. So that's why I use that as my zero reference in line with the drop of the needle. And that's it. And now this one you can cut at three because I don't like it to hang over the edge here. You can cut it, if you're, if you're on a different type of machine, as long as it stays flat, you can make it as long as you like. And so that is how I do my tape in reference to my needle. And if you need to put tape on this side, you can do the exact same thing this way. And say you wanna put it even closer up there so that it's out to the needle, I would do the exact same thing. Maybe only cut it at, so you have three inches. And then just using these marks again, you want the half inch to be at the half inch. So what you would end, because you don't wanna confuse yourself, you would end up cutting this at the quarter of an inch Lay this at the quarter, if you need it to be this close, lay it at the quarter of an inch and just lay it across. And then you have this as your reference to go across this way. And it's pretty sticky so it stays down. And this is not very expensive. It's um, typically about $3.50, I think. Some places it's $7, but then they use you have you use a coupon. Um, but you can get it on Amazon, you can get it at Joanne, you can get it at Michael's, and it's pretty consistent with an actual ruler. So I have it all over my machine, um, even short pieces. But like I said, after a little while, it starts to pull up here, and that's when I strip it off, wipe it down, and put a new one on. So I hope that helps you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me. Bye, everybody.